Good evening. Tonight we're going to learn how to attach our fly line to our leader knotless. Um, I've always struggled tying knots even as a kid. I couldn't tie my shoes. I, I kind of like the little goofy kid that had to ride the short bus. I, I've always struggled with knots. Um, as I grew older, of course, I learned, but I also learned that the more knots you have in your fly line, the more it's going to catch wind, the more resistance you have with the wind, you're going to end up having wind knots, plus you're going to not be able to cast near as far. So I'm going to show you a little trick I learned that's going to teach you how to attach your line without a knot, make it super slick and way easier to cast. Traditionally, you would take and your fly line would come with a loop on the end. So you just do a loop to loop attachment and you'd have the big loop off your leader to a big loop onto your fly line so then they've come up with a loop connector which is basically like a chinese finger that's got another loop where you would just slide the loops through and do a loop to loop connection and then this little thing slides over your line and then heat shrinks to it that's all fine and dandy but i don't think that that's as effective and plus you have these big loops that uh, of course you're going to catch wind and everything so i'm going to show you a little secret that i learned from one of the legends of the industry um dave whitlock um in fly fishing you know dave has created and engineered i mean engineered more ideas than anybody else in the world you know some have spider-man some have superman fly fishermen have dave whitlock so he showed me a little trick and he has a little kit called a knotless connection kit um, I was fortunate enough to get this given to me by Dave, but you can make a tool or you can get onto his website, I'm sure, and you can order this little kit, which is a simple, simple little kit. It's got just a few tools and it does, a, 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 I mean, it's just unbelievable system that we have. So if you aren't able to get that, literally all you need is a wooden dowel. Now for simplicity, my wood shop's across the street and my fly tying room's at my house. So all I did is I took a little 3 sixteenths or a 3 8 dowel, I'm sorry, and I pre-drilled a hole in it. So all you need to do is you take in, in that hole, squirt it with some thick super glue, and you just take, this is a number nine embroidery needle you just poke it down in that hole. That is literally all you need to make the tool that we're going to use tonight. So if you don't have the ability to get the kit, this little thing right here is all you need to make it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to the side and let it dry and then I'll have it for later. And I've got the one here that comes with the kit. All it is is that same kind of a needle. It's got a little arbor and it holds it tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that our leader, some sandpaper that comes in the kit. All this is is 60 grit sandpaper and some Zappa Gap glue. Zappa Gap is the absolute greatest super glue there is for fly fishing. It's got better UV protectant. It's more water durable. It's just an absolute great product. If you're not able to get Zappa Gap, any kind of a thicker super glue, just a CA glue, will work. This right here, you can get at Hobby Lobby for like five bucks. Regular super glue in a pinch will work, but any chance you have, if you can use Zappa Gap, Zappa Gap is always gonna be the best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fly line. I'm gonna pull my fly line out of my reel. or attempt to. There we go, getting old sucks, can't hardly see anymore. All right, so we're gonna take this and I'm gonna just cut my line just to show how to do this. So now I've got my line cut, that's all I need to do. God, I hate to throw a good leader away, but. So then we're gonna take our line, we're gonna take this tool that's basically just a embroidery needle reversed into a little pole and we're going to poke it through the end of our fly line.
and you just go nice and slow. You can see I'm about a quarter inch of the way. So I'll just keep on pushing. And I've noticed that if you spin it just a little bit while you're pushing it, that it makes it slide on a little bit better. So once I got it to the point through there, I'm going to poke it. Through that fly line. And it gets a little bit tight. So I'm going to poke it through that fly line. Next thing I'm going to do is unspool my leader. And if I can keep this from turning into a bird's nest, will be awesome because you don't seem to get that to happen every time. So what I'll do is I'll take this string, which is This one is a seven and a half foot, two X, 10 pound trout tippet. And I'm gonna take the shallow or the, the narrower side and poke it through the hole of the needle. Now, if you're a fly tire and you struggle like I do, my eyes get worse and worse in time, you can take just a regular bobbin threader and you can poke that through the needle and pull it through if you need to. Dave's little kit that he sells, he puts one of them little threaders right there with it. Okay, so now that I have that pulled through, I'm going to pull that line back out. So now I've got it all the way pulled through. I'm going to just pull it, 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 pull it. And when I get close to this end, notice I still have my knot and everything there. I'm going to take that 60 degree sandpaper and I'm going to just rough the living dickens so now I have that rough as all get out so now that that is rough I'm going to take my zappa gap and I'm going to squirt it on top of that fly line and get it all over my roll top. Now I'm going to pull that through just as such. Now I'm going to take a little zappa gap and I'm going to put it on the end just to build a little better bond. Take my scissors, cut the knot. And squirt just a little more zappa gap across the top of the string of my fly line. Now look how smooth that is. Here in about 20 minutes that will be completely dry and I promise you I've caught some big fish with that and I've never ever ever had one of these break through. Um, I've had many of fly lines over time break with a knot but this is strong as any knot that you're going to have out there and the castability is way 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 better. I promise you if you start doing little tricks like this you're going to need a bigger net when you go fishing because you're going to end up landing bigger fish more effectively because you're going to be able to cast farther and get closer. So anyhow hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next Wednesday with another fly time trick.